So we're fishing the lift method here on the float. You can see the float out there, uh, two feet past the lily pad. It's quiet enough this morning, not as much fizzing as usual. Oh. Hey guys, just going to go through one of my favourite tent rigs. It's a floating ledger rig. And for it, you'll need float stops, a nice waglaw, uh, weight for the waglaw, split shot. A nice bomb ledger, weight about one ounce or 30 grams. I like to use a rubber stopper when I'm using a ledger stop because uh, it protects the line, stops any bashing. And a nice size 12 hook and obviously you'll need a pair of pliers. So to start out we'll take our main line, feed on one of the float stops. I'm going to be fishing at about 10 foot tomorrow. I can set that up on site, but get it roughly there. Next, we'll take our waggler, get it fed on. Move that over out of the way. this point now we can feed on our ledger weight then the rubber now the ledger stops I like to feed it on in such a way that the stop pin will be hit by the weight itself just to prevent it from coming loose That's about 10 to 12 inches short of where I'll have the hook. Then we can put on our hook. I do like to hold it with the pliers and give it a good pull, make sure it's well on there. Just trim the excess line. That's basically the rig set up. All you need to do now is put on your split shot. I like to put this on at least a foot away from where my ledger stop is because it means then that you can be wrong about the depth by a foot or more depending on the distance away you put it. You don't want it too far obviously because you don't want to be too far out when you're guessing the depth of somewhere you're fishing. Oops, register bites a little bit better. And that's it. So in principle, when you cast your waggler will be sitting up here with your weights leading down your ledger and when you get a, a bite 
the line pulls, obviously the weight won't feel, the fish won't feel the weight. Good morning. We're here near Carrick Macross again. Small little lake, a few lily pads on the side. We're hoping to catch some tents around the lily pads. Uh, Stephen is braving the elements. As you can see, it's quite rainy. We're just here for a few hours in the morning. We've other things to do later on. It's about 6.20. Stephen said he got a few takes already before he arrived. Um, a strangely beautiful morning. We've had rainbows. And the rain is very soft and light. Um, and the lake is nice and still. And it almost always is in this lake because it's um it's very shaded. It's it's in a it's in a trough somewhat. Stephen and myself are floating the lift method, which is fishing about nine foot deep with an overweight uh, setup and one foot to the hook length from the ledge from the ledger weight. So if something picks it up off the ground, uh, the the float will rise. So that Hence the lift method. So, just hiding from the rain here myself under this tree. Don't want to get too wet, too saturated. Um, admiring the, the view. A few nice cows over there. just nice to be out here sometimes, away from the hustle and bustle. Even when it's raining. Any chucks on that float? We're in August, um, the fish seem to be feeding quite strongly again after their spawning they sort of quieted down for a few weeks but yeah we're hoping to catch a few fish and explore other lakes and we'll take you on our adventure with us. Okay, so this is Stephen's uh, rig here, and um, that's his float. Now, uh, where's your float stop? Way up the line somewhere. Float is float stop is ten foot down the line, fishing okay. set for the the depth. And the float goes back up to the float stop, goes way up the line, depending on the depth of the lake. All right now, this here is a ledger close to the hook. That's the hook, fairly close. Using the ledger stop and a rubber just to prevent bashing against the line. Right. And then I have approximately 10 to 12 inches of line after the ledger. Yeah. Before the bait. So if you get a run that way, get uh, a run that the way, the float it'll, goes it'll, down. It'll run freely through the, the weight so the fish won't, fish won't feel the weight at all. Mm -hmm. And it will be quickly indicated on the float. Right. Very good, sir. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 